Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos. Please, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Leos, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for my Leos, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Leos for Mercury Retrograde? What do my Leos need to know, please, for Mercury Retrograde? What do my Leos need to know, please, for Mercury Retrograde, please, Holy Spirit? So we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. And the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy, Five of Wands, the Sun card, Leo energy, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so Leo, what we have here is somebody... I feel like someone here pushed their luck, Leo. Someone here never thought that you would walk away. Okay, someone here thought that, you know, they could just get away with anything. Um, but they didn't realize that they were dealing with an empress. And I feel like you stood strong for this person for quite some time. You could be married to this person. You could have a child with this person. Um, but I feel like ultimately you're disconnecting here. Okay. And now I feel like you're dealing with someone that is desperately grasping and fighting to um, win your love back. To win your love back. This person now has fear that there's competition, that there's other people in the picture. This person may be stalking you um, because they're scared that you are moving on to someone else. I feel like this person regrets um, putting you in competition with other people, breaking your heart, breadcrumbing you. This person you know, mistreated an empress. And that is not a good idea because that's going to backfire on you every single time. That's not going to work because an empress will hold her ground for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because the empress is, is, you know, very loyal, very committed. So an empress will stay for a little bit, but eventually, you know, you have to understand an empress doesn't need anybody, right? So eventually it's going to become boring for the empress, you know? Um, they may do this a little bit every once in a while, but eventually it is going to become boring. Eventually the empress is going to stop caring and walk away. Um, and I feel like this person's really going, it's going to backfire. This person's really going to regret playing games, mind games, illusions. Um, they're going to regret hurting. They're going to regret causing pain. They're going to regret breadcrumbing. They're going to regret it. Um, we have the Hierophant Taurus energy. We have the moon, Cancer Piscean energy, and we have the three of, of wands. This person is at a distance at this point, Leo, um, not showing their true feelings, but they're still very much committed to you. Okay. They're being divinely guided back to you. Now it could be karma. It could be, you know, um, it could be that, it, you know, this is the wheel turning. This is the divine intervening here. We've got the wheel and the hierophant. This could be the divine interfering here, um, you know, where the, the tables are turning on this person where at one point it was you that was very committed to this connection. At one point it was you that really wanted this to work and now it's the tables are turning. Do you understand? We've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the Jesse karma. This is major karma here. You've had that in your readings for quite some time now. Uh, Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, the Justice card and the Knight of Wands. Um, I'm, I'm hearing that song again. If I'm a dog, if you're a dog, then I'm a dog too. You know, I, there's this energy of, oh, oh, you want to play, play. I could play. Like, I know I'm an empress, but, you know, watch me slap on this little black dress or watch me, you know, put on this nice suit and tie. You know what I'm saying? If you want to play, I could show you how to play. I mean, I could teach you how to play. I could, I could teach you things that you didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? So someone here is like, you know, I, I feel like, 
I feel like there's this energy of like, you haven't stopped talking to this person, but you may like lead them on and then go run off somewhere else. Like you're just giving them a taste of their own medicine. It's not vengeful and it's not spiteful. It's just, you don't care anymore. Just like this person didn't care before and they thought they could get away with anything. Now you're just taking your power back. The death card and the knight of cups, cancerian energy, Scorpio Pisces, uh, and the ten of cups. I feel like this change, Leo, this change is going to make this person come in with a very, very serious offer. A very serious offer. We've got the Four of Wands, the 11-11 card, Twin Flame, uh, possibly. We've got the Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords with the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Um, Leo, for some of you, this is not going to be for all of you. For some of you, this you walking away from this person can be a twin flame awakening. Someone here is waking up. They're seeing things clearly now. They're seeing the truth of the situation. That could be why the connection was so rocky initially. Okay. We have the seven of swords. We've got the nine of swords, the ace of wands, and the queen, of, excuse me, the king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You dipped on this person. You straight up were like, boom, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? You left quickly. You cut this person off quickly, quickly quickly and i feel like now they're in a freaking panic leo they're in a panic that you're moving on to someone else they know that like as soon as you start talking to someone else or as soon as you sleep with someone else, you're going to be committed like you they know that someone's going to snatch you up in a heartbeat they know that they know they they know that you can find a new person and a new commitment in a heartbeat okay we have oh guys hold on one moment please I'm so sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Cups. We've got the Four of Pentacles. And we have the Emperor. Leo, whatever this person was holding back before, they're coming in to give full... I mean, they're coming in to give their full cup of love and their full devotion. Whatever they were holding back before, we've got the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy, and the Hermit Virgo Energy. Um, and this is happening because you're withdrawing from this person. This is happening because you're withdrawing... Because now you're in this energy of, you know what? This whole time I was worried about whether or not I was good for you. This whole time I was worried about whether or not, you know, you wanted me or not. Now the question is, I don't really know if I want you. You know what I'm saying? The tables have turned on this person. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the five of swords. So, so you know, that seven of pentacles talks about planting seeds, okay? And, you know, watching them grow. Now, if you plant the wrong seeds, you're going to sit there and think back like, man, I should have planted the right seeds or whatever. Because this person planted seeds of mind fuckery. You know what I'm saying? They planted seeds of mind games, screwing with someone's head, or constantly one-upping somebody, needing to win at all costs. You understand? These are the, the, the seeds that this person planted in the relationship. And now there's a major lack of trust. We've got the Two of Cups and we have the Five of Pentacles. Someone here is about to lose a very strong soulmate connection because, again, Queen of Swords, lack of trust. Um, we've got the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. Now, we do have a true pair on the board, but this person is going to be persistent. Okay, they're going to be persistent. We've got the Star card here, Aquarian Energy, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. This person really does want to heal this. They really do want to work on this connection. They really do want to come in and heal this. We've got the seven of wands and we've got the lover's card there were a lot of blockages in this connection but i feel like this person is coming in to make the decision to commit they can't get you out of their head eight of swords and the nine of pentacles virgo energy pre-empress energy you don't come across an empress every single day and messing with an empress mistreating an empress or an emperor will backfire on you and this person is learning this lesson because they're realizing now that um they should not they should not have treated you that way. they're never going to find someone like you again do you see what i'm saying they're never going to find an opportunity like this again all right so i do feel like this person is coming back in with higher levels of commitment and they have had an awakening of your worth and the fact that they have to stop playing games so this person has learned their lesson leo okay you have taught this person their this lesson all right guys i love you and take care bye